Welcome to my art channel and on this video I'm going to show you how to draw Pac-Man. And if this is your first time watching my video or visiting my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. So I started off with uh, just a real simple lightly colored, uh, sorry, lightly drawn circle with a pencil. And you can see the, the little oval shape that I drew right there is is uh, that's gonna be the nose and now I'm drawing in the mouth right here and it almost it's almost like a like a half moon shape and you can see those two uh, half circles in in there for the are, are the tongue that's in the mouth and now his eyebrows are kind of just like sharp triangles so you can see I put those triangles right there. And then he's got kind of oval shaped eyes, but they have a triangle in the eyes. So best best way to draw those is to do a full shape oval and then uh, put a triangle in there. And then darken the lines. So now I'm gonna do his right arm. And that's kind of just a sharp, shape down a uh, triangle too you can see with this character it's a lot of really simple shapes ovals triangles circles and right here just uh, finish that right hand and I'm doing kind of just a double half shape circle there to get uh, those legs a little skinny legs. I'm not sure if um, any of you had a chance to play the game, uh, the arcade game, the arcade Pac-Man game, but yeah, I used to play that a lot as a kid in the 90s. Yeah, I mean, even into the 2000s, I'm, I'm sure they were at several uh, arcades. And I, you know, it's a popular game now, so. Um, probably just hard to find, but definitely a very fun game to play. And that's why I wanted to draw this, bring back a little nostalgia. And just to show you guys how, how to do just an easy Pac-Man. So you can see I had to erase just a little bit there. But you that's what the eraser is for, you know, if you if you make a little mistake, you could always go back and erase it so long as you did it lightly. And I'm just working on that left arm there. Just wanted to shift it up a little bit. And now I'm going to darken in the rest of that circle. And then time to work on the feet. And if you want me to teach you more about this or, or make a video where I draw a character you like um, or just a character that's popular, uh, make sure to leave a comment below and, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I respond to your comments. And, and so if you're subscri subscribed to the channel, you could definitely see uh, those videos when I post them up. Uh, could be a video based off of your comment. So definitely uh, fun to keep track there. And so I finished the feet and now I'm coloring those in with a red acrylic marker. I'm just using a solid red color. And it's the same red I use for the tongue. Really this Pac-Man, when you color them in, it's got just, I think it was uh, four four or five colors red yellow black and white i think it's just those four. Oh, and orange i think for the gloves so very simple very basic colors and and you could do this like i'm, I'm drawing this with a pencil and coloring it in with acrylic paint markers but you could do this project with crayons with colored pencils uh, you could paint it like with the actual with with paint brushes. 
Um, I, I mean, for something like this, I like doing the acrylic paint markers to color it in. They cover a lot of ground, and I get more control than a paintbrush. And they cover more ground than, uh, than colored pencils. But I will be doing colored pencil drawings soon, uh, since I just got a set. So, I'm excited to use those. And if you have any questions on some of the materials I'm using here, just leave a comment below and I can let you know well, what materials I'm using or, or where I got them from or what, what the best deal is like at the time uh, that you asked me um, as far as I could you know, tell. So I'm coloring in the body right here, the main part of the body with the yellow. And I like that the pencil marks are still showing through, but I'm not trying to cover over the pencil like um, against it because I don't want it to smear it. So I'm, I'm trying to avoid the pencil mark. So if I accidentally hit it, it's not that bad. And now the final color I have is black. And that's for the eyes, that's for the mouth, and then just the outline of the whole body to bring them to life. So I use that this medium size acrylic paint marker and working on that eye, it wasn't giving me the best uh, control for the edges. So I just decided to color in most of the mouth with that thicker marker and then I brought in the extra fine tip uh, acrylic uh, paint marker here to sharpen that up. And as you see, I, I get a lot better control because it's such a thinner um, thinner spot where the ink is coming from. So I just get a lot better control out of that. You can see I'm just outlining now everything that I had colored in. And make sure to keep an eye out for my other video. Um, I'm going to show you how to draw the, the ghost from Pac-Man. And I'm going to release that one pretty close to this. So chances are, if you're seeing this, I have I have already made that, that ghost Pac-Man video. So uh, definitely give that a watch. Some of those characters are really interesting. And now I'm just outlining the arms now, the gloves. And I also have a Sonic the Hedgehog video because I know Sonic's been around a long time too. Uh, so give that a watch. That's a full painting. And just getting the last bit of those boots colored in with that marker with the paint marker and here we go pac-man if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks for watching